Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my pixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. If you're new to the channel, then nice to meet you. Today, we're adding a camera to our game so we can get to moving around our stage. It's getting a little old being trapped in that little box of ours with no place to go. So let's not waste any more time and get right to it. The first thing you're probably going to want to do is to build yourself out a longer or maybe if you like taller stage. This is just so that there's actually something to look at when our camera begins to change its view. I've already tiled out a longer stage, so if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video right now and then just resume it once you've built out your stage. I'll wait until you're finished. Great, now that you've done that, let's go ahead and add our camera. To add our camera, we're going to need to jump back into our player scene, so if you don't have your player scene open already like I don't, just go ahead and open up your player scene. Make sure that you have the root of the scene selected, the uh, kinematic body up here. And then go ahead and hit this plus symbol. And today the object that we're going to add is called a camera 2D. So we'll go ahead and add that as a child of our player. And then we'll go down into here in the inspector where we see current. We just want to click that checkbox, turn it to on. Now let's run our game to see what that gives us. And let's do a little bit of moving around. Okay, and as we can see, this actually does the trick. Just that. Just adding that camera and checking that current to on, we now have a working camera. Well, kind of. So the camera is following our players moving nicely, and we can progress on in our stage. That's good. However, it's going to take a little more work to get things looking nice. For starters, the camera movement may be a little bit too erratic for some people's taste. I don't know if you can see here, at least it's a little bit too erratic and jumpy for my taste. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Make it a little bit easier on the eyes. To do this, let's make sure that you have your camera selected and then we can go back down into the inspector and this section where it says smoothing. right? We have this enabled, we're just going to set that to on. With that, we can go ahead and run our game and see what that gives us. Okay, so we'll move around a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Can, can you all see the difference? Right now, the camera movement is a little bit more smooth. It's not as jarring when the player moves around and the camera finally needs to shift. Now, there's a speed setting which we'll look at next. So let's just get out of our game. And we'll go back down to smoothing and we see this speed setting. Now, if we set this setting to something like 1, let's go ahead and set that. Let's set it to 1 and run our game again. And now we're going to move around our stage. And I don't know if you can tell, you see how slow the camera moves? It's very slow to catch up to our character. And really, it looks a little bit off in this situation, right? So setting that speed to a lower value will make the camera move and catch up slower, right? There'll be a more obvious easy. If we get out of this, and right, if you can remember, we had a speed of 5 to start off with. So we tried 1. How about we try 10? So we'll try 10 and give it another go. Now if we move around, we see that the camera is much more responsive than it just was at 1. It's more responsive than it was at 5. And so even though that there's still a smoothing as in, and an easing, it's less obvious. So maybe for high combat style games, maybe some of you might prefer that the camera adjusts quicker. But, you know, to, to each his own, right? If the camera adjusts too quick all the time, like I said, it gets a little bit erratic and jumpy. It's a little bit hard on the eyes. And, you know, as the player of the game, you might tire out quicker. It's much easier to look at something smooth, provided it's not too slow, like when we had the settings set to one. So, um... Yeah, you can feel free to play around with this until you end up on a speed and setting that you like and you think works for you. 
All right, so with that, we have to fix some other stuff. The next thing up on our to-do list is that, as you can see, the camera is scrolling and it's letting us see outside the boundaries of where we tiled our stage. Now, I'm guessing you probably don't want this. If I'm right, then uh, I guess you can follow along and we'll go ahead and fix that. Let's jump out of our game. We're going to go into our camera 2D's object settings and take a look at the limit section instead. So here you see smoothing and limit. We'll just close smoothing, expand limit. Okay, so here is where you set the limits which the camera is not allowed to scroll beyond. Right, you see left, top, right, and bottom. Currently we have some insanely large numbers set to these limits. And so at the left, you can go negative 100,000 pixels to the bottom. You can go down 1 million pixels. So what this means is that let's say we just had a hole. It was a bottomless pit. Our character fell in the pit. Our camera would move to follow the character until it went down 1 million pixels, at which point it would finally stop and not follow the character anymore. I don't think we need a number this big, so we're going to go ahead and change that. So that we can get a better idea of what our limits actually should be, let's go ahead and go into our stage one scene and take a look at our stage. Let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see our whole stage. There we go. If you remember the zero zero coordinate of our stage is here, right? Where this line here intersects this one. So over here is zero and zero. That would mean that if we don't want the camera to scroll past this left wall, then we should set our left side limit to zero. Similarly, if we don't want it to scroll above the top of this wall, we should set our top limit to zero. For the bottom limit, we'll set that to the height of our window, which is, if you can remember, 180 pixels. If we go back into scene, or I'm sorry, project, project settings, and window, we see that we set our height over here to 180 pixels. So there's this thin purple line you see, and this thin purple line, this bottom line, marks off 180 pixels. So if we don't want it to scroll down past that, we can just say that our bottom limit is 180. In the event that you want to set it to something else, you can simply zoom in and use the rulers to get the exact coordinate that you want. So say we don't want 180 180 is over here. We want it actually to the bottom of where we tiled. Then that would have been a 192. And then you could set it to 192. For our right side limit, we're going to need to do just this same thing and take a look at the rulers. So let's zoom out a little bit. We'll scroll to the right, zoom back in, and we're going to say we don't want it to go past the end of this right side wall. Now the end of this right side wall, if you can see up here, it's a little bit small. It's a little bit small for me too, but this mark is at 608 pixels. So that's where we're going to use for our right limit. Now that we've got our numbers, we can go back into the camera 2D on the player and then set our limits. Under limit here, our left, we said it was going to be zero. That left wall, our top was going to be zero, which was the top of that wall. Our bottom was the height of our screen or yeah, our game screen or window, which is 180 pixels. And to the right, we looked on those rulers and we found that it's going to be 608 pixels. So that we can actually see where the limits are, we can go into the editor section here and then we can check draw limits to on. If we save our scene, and then go back into the stage one scene, zoom out a little bit. We can now see this thick yellow line that's going around here, right? We didn't have this before. What that is, is those are the limits that we just set. And now it's time to test it out again. So let's run our game. Okay, let's start moving around. Shoot this guy over here. Just to start, we can see that the camera won't let us scroll past this left wall. It won't let us scroll past the bottom of the screen. 
if we go ahead and jump up higher where it would have usually pushed us up and scrolled the screen up it's not doing that to us anymore so that's good moving along in our stage just fine shoot some of these bad guys here's the last guy on the right side and we see that the camera also stops at that right side which we marked off at 608 pixels so everything is looking good the camera no longer scrolls outside of our tiled area today we are very quickly and with no additional code able to add a slick game camera to our game in this instance i chose to expand the stage only horizontally but rest assured the game camera will work just as well for vertical scrolling games you simply adjust the limits to fit your game's design and then you're good to go. So that'll do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you found this helpful. If you liked today's video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. As always, the project folder for today's episode and all other episodes in this series are available on my Patreon page. The project folder contains the sprites, source code, and everything else that's needed to recreate what you've seen in this tutorial today. In fact, all you have to do is load up the project and hit the play button and you've got this. So if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link is in the description. And with that, we will call it a day. So thanks again to everybody for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one real soon. Take it easy.